Um, Alistair had um, a very definite idea about where he wanted to go in his career and he went to university for a term and then he found aspects of the course he wasn't suitably prepared for so he had to rethink his plans and at that point it was a question of well, what's what's available and is employment available and actually he'd like to continue learning and the idea of an apprenticeship um, came to the fore. I was coming towards the end of my year at college and they was asking me where I'm going to go next and they mentioned about apprenticeships and that was something I wanted to start looking into. No, I didn't know nothing much about apprenticeships at all until Chelsea bought a booklet home with various different information and different apprenticeship courses she could take. Mm -hmm. It gave me the opportunity to go and work at a school that, that meant a lot to me personally. Well, since Alistair started his apprenticeship, he has um, he's certainly become much more aware of what the working world is like. But suddenly now he's in there in the working world, seeing what it's like to interact with colleagues, to have frustrations and successes and, and feedback and praise. He's, he's um, taken advantage of opportunities to do short courses and um, manufacturer type courses to learn more than he needs to do with his apprenticeship. And I think all that's really benefited him tremendously. He's got a very strong sense now of where his career could go and what he wants to do next. It's already helped me you know, gain the confidence of getting up in the mornings and having some sort of structure towards my day. It's given me an understanding and knowledge of of the real world and growing up and that actually I'm, I'm not a child anymore, I am growing up and I need to see what, what, what work is like. It gave me the opportunity to go into work and to get my training through through working. And this I believe is given her her career for the rest of her life. And I would definitely recommend other parents look into apprenticeships to just see their children grow with, with this sort of safety of learning but also becoming more mature. It's sort of, I think it's the best of the middle ground. They're out there in the big wide world but they've got that safety net of the people supporting them through training. She's definitely more confident. Her timekeeping is amazing now. Um, her self-esteem is, is just, she, she's, she's got a confidence and the children where she work absolutely adore her. So I think it's, you feel you're sort of quite immature still, there's a lot of growing up that you need to do and I felt like I needed to do this for myself because at the end of the day when I grow up the only person I've truly got to rely on is myself and I think if I didn't take the apprenticeship I wouldn't be where I am now to look around. I think things have changed in the last few years. I think the, the economic situation, the cost of higher education, and the fact that I think um, the Apprenticeship Route is, is there offering alternative ways of learning um, and acquiring skills, but being um, more vocationally related. It's just too good an opportunity to ignore. If you're considering starting an apprenticeship, I think you should talk to your teachers, people that you, you feel comfortable to talk to if you're concerned about it, research about it, look online, look through the booklet, see, see what information is on there to help you to make your decision. Get parents on board. <laughs> and see it as a positive. Talk to them about it and see what they, they think and see if they, they believe that's the right thing for you to do and help them look into it as well because they'll be concerned I'm sure. I agree. <laughs> From the age of 16 you could choose to be an apprentice at any age as long as you don't have a degree.